you have a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear, you're not alone. It's been estimated as much as 80% of what we own isn't being used. So style expert Zana Roberts Rossi is here to help. She's going to show us step by step how to clean your closets out and more importantly, how you can actually make some money. Oh, hi, ladies. Hi. You know, it can be so hard to say goodbye to styles once loved, and it's especially true for our producer, Kelsey, who hasn't had a proper closet clean-out in over a decade. So we rolled up our sleeves to make some space and some money. Take a look. Kelsey, what is going on here? It just feels very, very, very crowded. I've got three questions you should ask yourself at the beginning of every closet clear-up. Number one. What is your personal style? Mm -hmm. For you, block colors. That's your filter, you have to stick to it. The next one would be, when was the last time you wore it? And if you've not worn it for one year, it's gone. The other question, does it fit? Mm -hmm. Now, like currently. I think these jeans went in a closet pre-pandemic and have not seen the light of day since. <laughs> so many of us have that shelf, by the way. <laughs> this could be traded for thousands of dollars. And I'm gonna show you how to sell. There are so many platforms out there now to help you resell. And some reseller sites are better for certain pieces than others. We're going to basically look through this entire closet and we're going to split it into three piles. You're going to have your high-end labels and designer. Then you're going to have your mass brands. And then you're going to have a purge pile, which is actually my favorite. The purge pile is going to thread up. They send you a clean out bag to fill with gently used items from any brand in your closet. And it's as simple as shipping it away. ThreadUp will sell what they can and recycle the rest. So, bin number two. These are those really common name brands that we see all the time. Thing, J. Crew. We are gonna sell these on Poshmark. Now, the brilliance of Poshmark is that you control the sale. So you take a picture of your product, you upload it to the website, and you write a blurb using searchable keywords, and then you're basically the retailer. Next bucket. Some of us at home may have that one item that we've saved up for, and now we don't wear it anymore. That is heading to the real real. Now, they will literally come to your house, white glove service, take it away, photograph it, put it on their website, write the blurb, and sell it. Like, done. the work is done for you. Should we do this? Let's do it. Neither of these have been worn in years or, or at all. Okay, Zara, this is really interesting. So, new with tags, NWT is an acronym you're gonna become very familiar with. This makes it instantly more valuable. For that reason, I'm putting Zara into Poshmark. This is a really good example of something that will do excellent on Poshmark. Okay. It's a great name. It's very versatile. It's universal. For that reason, she is going on Poshmark. It's very similar to the other 17 I pulled out earlier. <laughs> this I got, I think I was 12 years old. You were 12? And it has somehow made its way into this closet. I think this can have a new life. Okay. We're gonna recreate this. Okay. You have 18 pairs of jeans that I can see. You are one body. There are seven days in the week. Okay. I can make this easy because, candidly, half of these jeans no longer fit. No wishful thinking pieces. I know. Accessory sell the best on places like the real real. This is a classic. You could sell this bag for more money than you spent on it. I've given you a system. You have to do this four times a year. The end of a season, beginning of the next. One in, one out. If you're buying five things, you're going to get rid of five things. These three piles are going to be turned into some hard cold cash. Also, I've taken a few pieces that I think we can hold on to, and I'm going to make some magic looks for you. All right, four cleanups a year is kind of a lot. It's a lot, a lot for people like us who, you know, mm -hmm. on the weekends are tired. But you've got a trick. Yeah, what's the hanger trick? So the hanger trick is really easy. So basically, you have all the hooks of the hangers facing the same way at the beginning of the season, right? Yeah. And when you wear a piece, Flip the top of the hang around so the hook is facing the other way. And after one month, two months, three months, check in about what you're actually wearing, oh. right? And then you'll see the pieces that oh. you're wearing more frequently and those you've, ones you've never touched. touched. You haven't touched them? And what do you do with those? If Get you rid of it. Touch them. Okay, cool. Right. If you're wondering what kind of payout Kelsey got for selling her clothes, ooh, you're going to find out right after this. We are back with style expert and milk makeup founder, Zana Roberts-Rossi. And as we saw before the break, Zana helped our pal and producer, Kelsey, <laughs> clean out her closet. Great news. 
90 items were recycled. Oh my 90. gosh. And even better news, Kelsey got some cash. Hot she did. Cash. How much cash did she make? Should we break it down? Yeah. There we'll is break plenty. It break it down. Okay, so we had three different categories. Okay. The, the stuff that went to thread up, we sent 56 items and then we sold 35 with potential earnings of $430.57. Wow. $430? That's a lot. Wow. Thread up. Okay. Hush mark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we listed 25 items. Potential earnings of $1,708. And it's possible to negotiate the sale price. Wow. Then we have the real real. So we had nine items and accepted. And the potential earnings of that is $1,500. So what's the grand total of <laughs> total. Closet? You ready for this? Yeah. Potential earnings. Three thousand six hundred thirty-eight dollars wow. fifty-seven cents. insane, and that was just sitting in there. Yeah, exactly. How to and just, just collecting dust, that. and it's going somewhere else. So we're not just throwing it, which I think is good for the environment. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and her closet's clean. It's going to save her time every morning. She so talked a lot about that vest that she wore when she was twelve <laughs> years old. That furry-looking vest. She was going to toss it. You said, "Wait, tossing it. Maybe Wait. we can find a way to restyle it." So you have restyled some of the clothes. We restyled yeah. some of it. So we started with this knee on dress, okay? okay? Yellow. Yellow is a big trend for fall 2023. Okay. Oh, is it? It's surprising, right? But I saw it. I was like, let's save this. We can do something with this. So we're going to take something that's notoriously quite a tricky color to wear, uh -huh. oh, but then Kelsey team it, it with up. something that's she? really easy to wear and something she wears all oh. the time. Oversized blazer. She loves oversized blazer. She's right. always in that's it. That's her signature. <laughs> So it makes it more familiar with her when it's an unfamiliar piece. Less Vegas, more business. Yeah, ah, we love that. But what are you going to do? We're dying. And we're want to know the about vest. the faux fur it's vest. Very important, the vest especially faux since she's fur. had it for a long time. Juicy Couture. Wow. Juicy Couture. She bought it when she was twelve. I can't believe that it's so nicely preserved. Yeah, most of our clothes don't look like yes, that after one year. When you're twelve, one birthday party. <laughs> this is ruined. this is the ultimate fall topper. You can wear this in so many different ways. You can wear it over sweats. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with cargo pants, you can wear it with a dress. But we what wanted did, to elevate oh, it into a way doing? to business again, right? So you wear tone on Wait, tone. Is that her oversized blazer again? <laughs> By the way, awesome. you totally got what Kelsey's style is. Yes. She loves suits. I mean, she yeah. loves suits, she loves tailoring, but look she how, loves who function. Who would have ever thought to, to put, put that it on the over? Outside, I would have put it under. Definitely. Under, but how great for fall as well. It keeps you warm and it's not too chunky. Often and cozy cool. clothes are a little bit too like, so it's and, and when it's kind of chilly out, she, it's hard to put a big overcoat. She can just exactly. put on her faux fur vest. Full yes. topper. Do Perfect. not get rid of this, baby. It's a workhorse right. in your closet. Wait. Okay. Wait. I feel like What's I've that? seen her in this. I've seen her in this. Wait, I thought, okay, what is that? This one. So this is a That's white cute, blazer dress. It's a blazer dress from Zara. Yeah, I love it. it. I it. love it. And she was about to get rid of it. I'm like, Why? actually, you know what? Mm. This is a classic that can be updated to cool and contemporary with just a few accessories. Okay, show us what Let's you did. Let's see. I like All what right. she's The accessories are yeah. fall. Everybody, if white blazer or not, the accessories are fall. Okay, all what? Silver. Silver top handle oh, bag, that's the shape of uh -huh. fall. The silver sling back with the pointy toe is the shoe you will all want to be buying. And then also these big silver dome earrings. Oh, how great. How so, cute is she? Then she I come take that from preppy to party. Zanny, will you? What did you do with all of her jeans? She had so many of the same jeans. We all have them. like 80 pairs of jeans, I think. And you said seven mark. days a week. Seven days a week, one body. You don't need that many. You don't many. need yeah, that many. Maybe, maybe you need different silhouettes. Yes. But you don't need 20 pairs that of the same the silhouette. So you gave those to which place? They did Poshmark. Poshmark. And she raised so much money for well, herself. And she can go and buy something, one bag. So right. if, if if people are listening, mm. what's the, the easiest website, would you say? Would you think it's Poshmark? If you've not got the time, then yeah. it's a thread up because you can just thread pop up. it all in an envelope and just say goodbye. Up. Yeah, because that way goodbye. you don't have to take pictures and write words. It does, but if you have got something that is more of a designer, yeah. then the real real is great because they'll also come over, they'll pick your stuff up, and you can say goodbye to so it. So now you need to go and shop with Kelsey. What do they get the three that's, items she needs for the fall? That's right, because because you said you take one out, you put one in. Yeah, that's, that's what Oprah, way. you know that Oprah says that. And it works. It sure does. I'm going to hold you all to it. Okay. Um, <laughs> you need to also go, there's somebody's closet that you're going to have to wear hazmat suit. Are you talking about mine? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> what? I have a friend, her name rhymes with Moda. Okay, that's it. Okay, all right.